welcome all we are back at edgewater once again and we have so much stuff to do that there is no way that we can possibly get it all done now one of the things i want to get done in this episode is i want pigs in here because right now we've got uh, well we've got none we do not even have a little baby pig we've got no pigs at all so that is one of my main goals is to get some pigs in here we need to finally get this field right here finished up and start putting crops in the ground. We've got to get all these bales picked up, which I know we've got to have in excess of at least 30 to 40 bales in here. Now, I not counted them, but it just seemed when I was baling, it just seemed like a whole lot of bales. From right here, it doesn't look like much, but I promise you, you get a little further over there and they are just a wee bit closer together. Now, I think I have to change, uh, at least change the economic settings. We have it on normal, which I thought would be just fine. But if we go in here and we look, we go up here and we look at, well, so wheat's not bad. Barley, 543 per thousand. Oats, not much better. Canola is not too shabby. Sorghum is garbage. And so is flax. So I'm like, okay, wait. Now, we need to progress the game. So I think what we're going to do is if we're going to progress it, we'll go down to here. And, okay, we'll go easy. That's fine. And then what we're going to do is we are going to move the time to one. So we can now no longer go any less than times one. We can go faster but we can't go any less. I think that is a good compromise. If I want to keep it moving, which is really the main thing, is I feel like it will just progress way too slow if we're not making any money. And with the swathing, I feel like it's already going way too slow. So I didn't want it to go any slower. So there we go. Now we are going to progress whether I want to or not. But what we need to do first is I think we will grab the Massey Ferguson. We will grab our bail loading wagon trailer whatever we call it and let's see if we can get some bales picked up and i guess i will i'll go ahead and drop this one off here i think whoa slow down now i don't believe that any of the animals take flax straw so all of this straw can be sold and we have a lot that is off the small portion of the field and we still have the main area to get done now we will also have, when we go collecting our oats from over here, we're gonna have quite a bit of just regular straw, but I believe I wanna keep that because the pigs themselves there are going to need some straw there also. And it works for the animals, but the flax straw does not. Now I don't know, let's see, how much is flax straw even going? I think it's all the way down here. There's flax, okay, flax straw. Whoa, okay. Oh, wait, no. There we are. 100 or 100. 96 bucks at Larry's Bale Shipping. Bale Shipping. That's interesting. It's an interesting combination. Bale Shipping. Do they ship the bales? Maybe they do. Now, uh, I think our trailer holds like 14, I think is what it is. It does, does not hold that many. But let's go through here and see what we can do. See if we can make some money. They're all about, I think they're 8,200 liters per bale.
I don't think we're going to be able to get them all on here. We are going to be, I think, like one. If I stick one on my forks, we're still going to be, I think, one over. Oh, what a bummer. Maybe I can, can I carry two that far? I think maybe we can. We're going to try anyway. But we've done pretty good. I think we ended up with, what, like 43 bales, I think? This is our third trip. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's right. This one, I was like, wait, it's going to pick it up. No, no, it's not going to pick it up. Oh, uh, wait, I always forget which one is trans. There we go, transporting position. Let's see if we can get lined up. Ooh, I took bad, bad angle. Let's see if we can stick it on this other bale. It's somewhat neat. Probably. Uh, up. Uh, drop you down. Come on. Get on there. Make me look good, dang it. Or at least acceptable. I'll take acceptable. It doesn't have to be, like, good, right? Okay. Now we should be able to grab these two and we should be good to go. So we've made, I think it was like 11,000 bucks per trip and some change, like 11,300 somewhere in there. Now I have no idea these pails are gonna make it. Wait a second, let's try, go here. We can, no, okay. A little more scoot it in scoot it in there we go i feel way better about that i know they have the bale grabs that actually grab them not just pallet forks but i mean the pallet forks eh, generally they work pretty good that looks like a load now we still have two full loads sitting over in the farmyard as well so we've got another twenty-two thousand bucks sitting in bales but I think what we'll do is we'll sell these and then maybe we will just go ahead and sell some flax as well as soon as we need cash. If we don't need the cash, maybe we won't sell it. We'll see. But uh, something tells me we are going to need the cash. We always need the money. That bale is trying to fall off of there. No, do not fall off. By Jove, I think that bale is gonna, oh, no way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Uh, timing is everything, isn't it? Uh, all right. Well, that is okay. It made it most of the way. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty darn good. Uh, go dump it in there. Get the last one. I was hoping I could grab that one. No, I can't. Give me you. On over here. We're up to 43. Not bad at all. Okay. So that. That. To get this last one over there. And here we go. So let's drop this. And last bale. And it is gone. So we got about 800 bucks per bale. That's about what I was thinking. So now that we have almost 44 grand. Can we, uh, we can't really still think about the hogs yet. We need to get a plow. And I'm hoping, or I'm hoping and I'm not hoping that this tractor can, can or can't pull the, that plow. Because man, I would really like a different tractor. It was very slow and very painful to drive 24 mile an hour all the way here. And back three flipping times. So maybe we can find something, but we can't really afford to buy it. We already own this one. So I'm trying to decide whether we want to return the bale loader or not, because we're going to need the bales when we do our oak field as well. I could go ahead and just move those uh, via the forks. I don't know. First things first, let's get up here. Let's get ourselves a plow and then we will uh, see what's next. Uh, so wait, do I need to drop this off? Oh, here you go, buddy. Go on by. You know, I could probably set the plow right on. Just, we'll set, oh, sorry. That was me, not you. Sorry. <laughs> Distracted driver. We'll figure it out. We can get that plow on this trailer some way. 
Well, we made it safe and sound with the plow. Now all we have to do is get this booger off of here. And with the time I had to think about things, I believe we are going to say goodbye to... No, don't do that. Let's not make this difficult. We are going to say goodbye to the Rasta match. Go. There we go. Isn't this how farmers do it? This is the way they do it. They just shove that stuff right on off. Go. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I think we're going to get rid of it. It's time to go. So let's, well, here, let's do this. Let's hop in here. Go here and you right here. So let's reset that. Yes. And once again, my phone was on. I always think I turn that volume off and I do not. So the Rasta Mash has like, I think 300 and some horsepower here. Let's we'll take a look, get it in the cell point. So then we go here and large tractor. So we have 375 horsepower and we can get about 170,000, let's go 70,000 out of it. We go in here and we will, wow, repaint, yes, and repair, yes. That took us down to 23 grand and now we sell it. Okay, and now we have $224,000. It looks like we have money, but not for very long. Why do I keep hitting that button? That is not the button I want. And of course, there's no tractor in there that we want. So we go large tractors and then I have one in mind here. Of course, it's not that I just installed it off a of mod hub. No, 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 that's not it. But we have the John Deere, the 90 by 30 T for 175 grand. Now it has 425 horsepower, which is awesome. And it can be upgraded to give us 530. But I don't think we need that right now. Track setup with weights. Uh, no. Just standard will be fine. I don't think we need a front. Wait, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the U.S. only because I don't really like the signs. So we're get. We will get rid of those. And triangle. What is that? I don't even know what that does. My phone knocking as well. Loud, loud, loud. Green star. I don't know what it is. Numbers. I don't need attacher. So it doesn't have an attacher. Well, I mean, we kind of need that, I think. So my $175,000 tractor is now up to 180. Beacons, I mean, we should have beacons, right? It's one, where'd that put it? Oh, there it is, uh, or two. We will go to, I mean, let's splurge. Window color, that's fine, license plate. Uh, sure, let's do it. Which one did I always go? I always go that one. And of course we know what we're gonna do. Uh, where's my R there is there. Beautiful. And okay. Oh, I guess we can't have a tag. It made me do all of that and then doesn't give us one anyway. So let's go ahead and we will buy it. There we go. Now we own it free and clear. We won't get leasing charges for that. And I think we actually came out making money because I think we only had 38 grand. So we come out with a uh, bigger horsepower. It goes faster instead of 18, we go 24. And this will be interesting to drive as well. It turns like right now. <laughs> that is okay we are good let's let's go let's go all right i think this one's gonna work out extremely well there will probably be a bit of a learning curve as well but that's all right let's get our butt back and see if we can get this party started well i've got to say this thing is an odd looking beast for sure i mean it looks like it is just all motor all the time <laughs> I mean, you get in, you get inside, it's a little plain Jane. I mean, we did get it for a pretty good price. I mean, 
under 200 grand for this not bad at all but it definitely looks a wee bit plain and i was kind of a little it was a little odd to me that it's a steering wheel almost anything i've ever driven with tracks this all had the, uh, the the handles where you pull one and I'm doing, I'm showing you, but you, you can't see me do it. So it's a little peculiar, I think, that it has the steering wheel with the tracks. I mean, but I guess that is what it is. And grab this. We're just going to turn it around. I know we can run it this way, but we have the horsepower. We can run it the other way also. Oh, okay. Got to get used to the uh, immediate zero. No, stop it. The zero turn here. Oh, there you go. Okay, we'll get there. It's got to be easier than the articulation. There. And so I want to get started, but I need, I think, let me get these out of the field so they don't get in our way. Oh, I turn the engine off when I should have been started. We'll drop this guy. Oh, okay. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Shouldn't take me long, I don't think, to get my bearings straight here. So I'm hoping that we can run some headlands and maybe actually put this on a worker and let them do their thing. But we are going to have to give them definitely a wide berth so that they're not driving in the ditches. This tractor seems to be pulling this with absolutely no effort at all. difficult stuff hopefully the worker can do the rest of it pretty much on their own now there is going to have to be at least one more setup because there's no way they can go around that corner right there i mean they can get up there but they're either going to go all the way to the left or they're going to come to the right and either be on one side of those bushes or the other so i think let's start them out over here on the left here a bit and let's see how they do now, I've got to say, I have, I think I, well, let's move one little bit. I am developing a love-hate relationship with these fields. I really enjoy doing them, but at the same time, the square fields are so much easier to do. So, you know, you, I have fun when I do them, but it's also would be a lot easier if I could just put a worker on them and be done. I mean, you know, but that being said, I do enjoy them. Where is that piece? There was one up here. There it is. Okay, so I think if I bring the worker all the way over here, right? Like so, right? And they scoot on over here. They need to get to here. Right. Right there. That's going to give us our best chance, I think. Go. As long as they... Oh, what are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? And oh, okay, okay, that's what I was afraid of. Let's scoot him over just a bit. Something like it's not messing around. And you got it. We'll sway this way, sway that way, and I think they are good. So that should keep them busy for a little while, as long as they don't get stuck up here. 
Yes, and I didn't trust them, so I decided I would ride along with them because I was pretty sure they weren't going to get it. So there we go. Now we'll just come over here. And go, worker, go. Don't miss it, please. Okay, sweet. Now we need you. No, what do we need? No, well, maybe, but I think this is the guy we need now. Let's fire it up. Drop the header down, and we need to get this field well, cleaned up. Looks like we missed a bit, right? There. Yeah, beautiful. Sweet. And if I remember correctly, this thing fills up ridiculously quick. So we are getting quite a bit of oats off of this thing. Yeah, I mean, it goes really fast. A lot faster than that flax was filling up. And we're not even going fast. Let's pump up that speed just a wee bit. Oh, just stay on task there, man. I'm missing my swath. Oh, don't. I forget sometimes that I'm dropping straw and then it gets all goofy and ugly looking. It drives me insane. Don't drive in the ditch. If we can get... Oh, find up here. No, get back in. And there we go. We are rocking here with 89. Let me go ahead and get this. Then we'll go empty this thing out. We are at 96 already. Wow, this is filling up so fast. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a whole semi full here. Which is good. I mean, it's not the time to sell. When is Oaks? When is the time to sell oats? Oats. Oats. Uh, January. And we are in August, so we have a little bit. So where are we at? Oh, that's one. Oh, yeah, we're way off. Okay. That's fine. Now, I really, I really hate to run a speedy so quick, but I don't think we have a choice. We've got to get this field cleaned up. Let's check on the worker just to make sure here. And they are going. They're doing all right. And look at that. I did a pretty good job. I've got a couple little purple dots here. That one we'll blame the worker on, but the rest of them, uh, they're all me. Pipe in. Go down here and swing this thing around. I think we should put a little bit of border over here that's not the field for the between the field and the hog pen. Fit between those trees. Come on. There. Perfect. And go! goodness this thing fills up so quick it's almost annoying that we're getting so much product it's like what the heck man what i didn't even get two strips i think i got one and a half strips full and i think i mean it's, it doesn't hold a huge amount it holds nine thousand liters but still for goodness sake i know it's a good problem and i shouldn't be whining about it but boohoo boohoo <laughs> let's go get this emptied and then we can uh, hopefully get the rest of this field finished up without having to empty this truck again. We should be able to. Well, I don't know. Maybe. We may have to empty it one more time. Okay, let's put this in. We got the front bins. 
sweet. So all that stuff. Let's go ahead. Let's check on the worker. Well, oh, uh, are they stopped? They might be. Hold up. Let's enter the vehicle. Oh, yes, they are done. Okay. Don't ask me why, but they decided that that was it. Maybe it's lunch break. I don't know. Let's clean up their mess here. Then we can take one quick cruise down there, and then we should be able to set them up and let them finish. Well, as long as they don't do things like this. Well, I mean, it is the workers. They're not the smartest group. And finally, we are on the last swath. I would, yeah, I would get about a one and a half trips, and then this thing would be full. So the truck is at like 92%. But we barely did not have to empty that thing again. Ooh, back up, back up, back up. But I did notice something a little peculiar. I'm not really sure why, but it eats up straw for some reason. I don't know why it would do that. But if we back it up, let's see if it's going to do it for me here. It just makes it go away. It just deletes it. Now, it didn't do it with the flax straw. Look at that. Why did, now it did some, but it didn't do all. Over there, a little bit ago, it was just picking it all up. And it was all going away. I don't know if it was because I didn't have a certain percentage in the harvester yet. I don't know. I don't really even need to do this. It's not going to take it all. But I guess we're here. We'll go ahead and dump what we can in there. And there we go. So I am thinking as quick as this guy fills up. We may need a different harvester, and I have one in mind. It's also a John Deere, and we have a full, oh, here we go. And they're not bad as far as cost goes. So that one holds 19,000 liters, 22,000 liters, 300,000 liters. I think this is the guy that I want to get. Because if it's going to be that much harvest, it's just going to be one thing that's going to save us a little bit of time. So I think definitely this will be our next harvester. And I think we can probably, if our memory serves me correct, the one we have costs more. It does, doesn't it? Wait, that's 158. Now we get a little bit more than that, but what was this one now that I was it a 161 so not bad grain tank extension do i need oh because it wasn't there yet right no it says 300,000 liters so it doesn't matter if it's got the extension or not yes yes it is a little cheaty but what are you gonna do what are you gonna do you gotta make the game fun so if i have to cheat a little bit with the wind rowing and stuff, it just takes up so much more time. If we can save a little bit here and there, I think it's going to be good. So let's go get uh, let's go get our crops dumped into the silo, and then we need to figure out what's next. Uh, well, it looks like our worker is on a mini break over there. They are doing uh nothing. They're ready. They're ready to go but they just decided they couldn't figure this out, I guess. Go. I really thought they would do this area without any issue. Maybe a little issue over there, but I didn't think this big straight part they would have a problem. What am I in? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yes, right. Let me go grab the semi. This guy's emptied. Park it over here under a tree. Try not to run over a deer. What are they? Oh my god, they are having it. What are they doing? <laughs> uh, what do we got? How how long you been doing? Have you been have been doing this all the way down all the way down the field? Oh, not all the way down the field. Just a huge part of it. Oh, uh, you got you're a maroon. You're just a maroon. Where are we at? Let's let's go empty this. We'll leave them to their own thing. Let them figure it out. Or they won't. One of the two. They either will or they won't. And there we go. All right. Now that is done. So let's pull this. I guess 
over here, somewhere out of the way. Sweet. Shut that off. And now they have just completely stopped. For goodness sake. Come here. Simple, simple job. You know, drop that thing down there. Let's go. Okay, let me uh, run this real quick. Shouldn't take me long. I mean, we are going at 19 mile an hour. I think I like the bigger uh, horsepower for sure. That makes a huge difference. And this should do it. I think I went through and we got the field all cleaned up. Let's raise it up. Back it down a bit. Okay, so let's look. I think there are no more red dots anywhere. It drives me nuts to have just this. This little bit all over the place. I know it makes no real difference in the yield, but oh my, it's just why? Why does it have to be there? Just go back, clean it up. And all things will be good. Let's fold that thing up. And we will need this soon, soon, soon. Oh, well, we need it right now, don't we? Okay, let's go over here. Now, I don't want to get into the road. Ooh, I could do... I don't think I need over. Let's go here. Where it's at right now isn't too bad, right? Let's open that up. And I think this is probably as close as I want to get. I don't want to mess up the rip. Oh, don't we have to we allow to create field? That's fine. That's okay. A little bit isn't bad at all. But I just wanted a little plot that would work to keep the sheep and the goats happy. Okay, turn. Again, I don't want to mess up my road. Don't do that. We don't need much. At least right now, we don't need much. Isn't there a fence in there somewhere? Oh, maybe there was. <laughs> maybe I uh, I got rid of that when I deleted the one, but I didn't think so, did I? I well, maybe it. I don't. Let's go right there. Okay. Uh. Try to keep it somewhat even. Been around there, big dog. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Ew. Okay, so I want. Well, I mean, with the grass, I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly even, does it? I get a little anal about that. I can't help myself. I think I'm going to. Back up here, just a little bit. We get there. All right, perfect. I saw this area right over here. Take your time, man. Back up nice and slow. I mean, I guess it does go eight mile an hour in reverse. So I want. Let's go right here. There, to, to there maybe. Right, 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 right. Uh, groove. And I think it's pretty good. I can only do so much, but that that should work. I mean, it's not a big grass field, but we don't need one. I think that is going to be perfect. Now where where do I want to put this? How about well, you know, I could actually put it in a shed somewhere. Good. That would be, I know that's a bit ridiculous. I don't know if you can actually drop it while it's up like this. I don't think you can. But we'll try. Oh yeah, we have all this straw that we can do something with. Also, is that even gonna fit in there? No. Oh, so it won't drop like that anyway. Okay. There, perfect. Just the way I wanted it. So now what do we want to do? We can pick up some straw. We can think about doing some planting. I don't think I want to start the planting right now. Only because I, I won't be able to get it finished in this episode. We could watch a crazy deer. We could go ahead and run a baler up and down this field. Maybe. Where, where is our baler? Oh, I think I know. 
Well, the farm appears to be turning green as far as going John Deere and is really unintentional. No, wait. What in the world? Come on. I tried to do it without hitting this crazy button. Turn that on. How come it says lift? Lower pickup. I don't even see the pickup. Oh, it does that sometimes. I kept waiting to see the pickup drop. And I wasn't seeing it. Ooh, come on. Get on there. Get on there. This will be a little trickier. That's all right. Practice, 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 right? This hasn't been the prettiest bailing I've ever done, but we are getting the job done. Of course, our straw was a mess, so that didn't help. My driving is atrocious, so that doesn't help. Oh, I tried to turn to get that one, and it wasn't even straw. It was crop. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Thank you. But we've done, I think, extremely well oh my goodness how many do we even have here we've got to have over 20 25 30 somewhere in there i guess if i just keep rattling off numbers i'm bound to be right sometime but we did extremely well i think we did more than 25 i'll say we did more than 25 maybe 30 i just keep going don't i just keep throwing numbers out there hoping one of them is gonna be right 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think we ended up with like 23 bales out of it. So not more than 25. I was shockingly incorrect. Okay, maybe not shocking. But I think we've done pretty good. Our big field is now ready to plant, which is huge. We didn't really get a whole bunch done on our hog farm here. But it is, the field is ready to go. This one's ready to have the bales picked up. Then it can be planted. And I think we're going to put either lentils or peas in that. Let's see. When are, let's look for lentils and peas. I know they're both down here somewhere. Lentils and peas, lentils and peas. Here we go. So lentils, they do quite well. Wow, six grand. So we must not get a lot of harvest off of them. But they would be ready in February. I Oh, actually, their best is in July. How about peas? Well, peas are in July as well. Well, phooey on that. I mean, flax is okay, but we did flax. I really would like to try peas. I've never done peas. I feel as though I have done lentils, but man, they're a lot. Well, one or the one or the other. We're gonna do one or the other, either pentel, lentils or peas. So if you have a preference, let me know. If you don't, we'll figure it out in the next episode. But hey, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. But until next time, see ya.